us who cares about art. But they're wrong. It is the exact reason that we're fighting. For a culture, for a way of life. What is all this? People's lives. George Clooney's The Monuments Men features an incredible ensemble cast with talents such as Clooney, Matt Damon, John Goodman, Bill Murray, and Kate Blanchett. Unfortunately, the ensemble cast only adds to the disappointment of this picture. Be that as it may, the film is based on a remarkable true story. As the end of World War II looms near, a small platoon of architects and artisans are tasked with finding artwork stolen by the SS. Frank Strokes, played by Clooney, gathers his bunch of merry misfits and embarks on a quest to preserve a thousand years of culture. The plot is simple and inherently cinematic, but Clooney fails to achieve any narrative cohesion. The script, written by Clooney and Grant Heslov, is woefully old-fashioned and sentimental. Between comically drawn-out death scenes and random attempts at slapstick humor, the film loses almost all of its momentum within the first half hour. Worse yet, the movie is unspeakably boring. In the light of recent Oscar fare, the two-hour running time feels interminable by comparison. However, there are some good scenes with Bill Murray and Bob Balaban. Their characters are genuinely charming and have some heart. Unfortunately, their scenes are far too brief. The ultimate problem with The Monuments Men is that nothing ever truly connects. So, Joaquin, what did you think of The Monuments Men? Honestly, this could have been turned into like a miniseries or like a made-for-TV film. I mean, two-hour running time it just wasn't enough to tell the story, let, let alone have like this all-star cast and, and turn it into a sort of Ocean's Eleven type sort of film. Exactly, and honestly, I feel like this story might have been better served by a documentary or something of that nature because I felt like the film was trying to be too informative and I just couldn't connect to the characters. And it's a historical film. I mean, take place in World War II. I mean, I'm a wartime junkie myself, but still, this could have been well executed, just tell some more of the story, not just like within, like, within those two hours, but still, they could have like, expounded on the stories, like wh the locations of some of those hidden items, and then like woo us to the point of Oscar nomination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite historical fiction film? Leave us a comment below or like us on Facebook at Price of Admission Reviews and you may be featured on the next Price of Admission.